Hello everyone, myself Fidel Kumar. In this video, we are going to talk about beam shell scripting. So most of the guys uh, don't know about beam shell scripting, uh, how to write and what to learn, and uh, which, which scripting language is best to use beam shell. So here, now I will explain a small task so that you guys can understand how to use beam shell, pre-processor and post-processor, and what, what code we can use in beam shell. So let me take a small example. So for example, in this video, I'll take an example. I'll take a string uh, uh, which uh, contain some special character. So I I'm, I will use a bean shell uh, preprocessor or postprocessor to divide that string. Okay. Uh, let me, uh, in order to do that, let me uh, add one user defined variable. Go to config element and uh, take one user defined variable. So I am just dragging it over top. So for suppose let me create one variable and that is user. Again, which is user. Take my name that is by iPhone. So now my requirement is for example when you do the correlation, you will get some special characters, maybe iPhone or slash, maybe uh, ash, whatever symbol you will get it. So somewhere you need to pass first occurrence somewhere you need to pass second occurrence so to do that so every time uh i mean uh it is a little difficult to, to do by correlation so you need to use some code so to split that kind of value like if you uh, if there is like multiple values present multiple string values are present so you need to divide everything so so in uh, how to divide the complete string i will show the example now so let me add one uh Beam shell, pre or post processor, whatever. Uh, so let me explain first. For example, what is a beam shell preprocessor and post processor? For suppose, for suppose you need to uh, send some value in this uh, you know path. You want to send one dynamic value after action dot instead of action or maybe welcome. So there is some dynamic values passing. You want to uh, you know uh, send that value. So uh, you are unable to get it. Uh, in correlation. So for that, what you have to do is you need to add preprocessor. So because when preprocessor is executed, after that the request will be executed. So uh, before the request, the preprocessor will be executed. So if you want to pass some dynamic value in in subsequent request or maybe in second transaction, so you can use post processor here, initial post processor. So if you want to, uh, you know, execute post processor first and then uh, execute the request means you can add post processor. Okay. So let, let's come to our task. So I am adding here one Binchel post processor, whatever is anything is comfortable for me. Binchel post processor. Now here I want to write the code first. First, first, what I have to do is I want to get that. J meter variable. This is user is J meter variable to I want to make it Java variable. I'm writing some Java code here. So I'm assigning one variable string some S1 equal to pass dot get of what you are getting. So what is your variable name? You need to keep it in quotation because it is a string variable. So just copy the variable name that is user. Okay. So, so here what uh, we will get is, so in order to know whether the values uh, came here or not, so what we have to do is, uh, let me show that, you need to use log.info. So when you do log.info and keep your variable over here, S1, so you can just execute it. So when you click on, I just ran the script and here in, in the log you can see your initial element, your value is the effect on mark. So now your value is, uh, you are able to get that value in your initial post processor. So now what, I have, what we have to do is, I'm creating one string array. Array means so square bracket and I'm giving some variable name that is something S2, okay, which is equal to. So what I want to do is now I want to split. I want to use split S1. S1 is my first variable. S1 dot split function. I need to use split function. Split 
And what is the special character you want to split? You know that there is a icon present between the string variables. I'm, I'm using string. So now I want to see whether uh, in, in S2, whether I'm going to get the value or not. So how to, how can you check that? So you can use same log dot info so that it will be, your output will be uh, present in log dot info. Okay. So S2, your second variable is S2. Oh, array, array value start from zero, right? So zero is first value. One is second value like that. So let me keep zero first and see whether the value is generating or not. I'm just clearing it, everything. I'm running it now. See, your brain shell element is Uday. So first value is Uday. So let me clear, uh, let me keep one over here and um, let me clear it and run it. So it should get second value now. Let's see. So now you are able to uh, divide the, split the value, right? So now what I want to do is now we have J Java variable. So you need to convert it as JMeter variable so that you can uh, use that variable in your JMeter script, right? So how can we do that? For that, you need to use a function called vars dot put as that put of larger put of. So what you have to do now, for example, I want to take cost value, okay? S2 of what array, and in that you need to keep zero. Zero is nothing but first value, right? So here, and that that value, you want to place it in some variable, some J meter variable, right? That is nothing but C underscore, some final value, F value, nothing but final value, okay? So now it is done, right? So what you have to do is now you need to go and paste somewhere, maybe after that post processing, but after that, so whatever request you want to pass, you can just pass it, just keep dollar of this variable name, and now go to the results tree, and so let me run this. See, here the, the first value is passing. That is nothing but Uday. So when you want, if you want to pass second value, you can keep uh, S2 of one. So this is how we can split. For example, if we have multiple values in the same string, you can also do that. So this will help whenever you want to split with uh, some special character. So this is how we can write bean shell element, guys. So, so if you guys have any doubts, you can feel free to comment on below. And uh, thanks for watching this video. Thanks, everyone.